Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be slightly different. While it is BrickLink related, it is not me doing something for our BrickLink store. I have purchased seven or eight orders from other BrickLink stores and I'm going to be working on uh, adding a, an addition to a set that I currently have. So as many of you know, if you haven't seen the video, I'll put a little card in the top right up there so you can click that. Um, but over the past few months, I've been rebuilding a few of my childhood sets. And one of my favorite like all-time favorite sets, is this Lego Maersk train set 10219 here. Absolutely beautiful engine with, with the color, the blue, the black, the gray. It's amazing. And it comes with a couple of these train cars here. Now, it only comes with uh, three containers, so we can't have two on each, each, uh, oops, can't have two containers on each car. But today what I want to do, because it only comes with two of these, it feels like a, it's a little short for a train. So I'm going to hopefully as long as I ordered all the parts. I'm not going to lie, I'm not entirely sure if they're all here in terms of I was, you know, competent enough to go click and purchase all of the items. But we're hopefully today going to be building three more of these Maersk train cars. Now, over the past uh, month or so, I was gathering parts that I had, and then uh, I ordered a ton of parts that I needed. And those have now been sitting here in these packages, these seven or eight packages, for quite a while now. And a few of you who watch the channel actually uh, own stores that I purchased these from, so thank you. And uh, let's hope all the parts are here. Um, it's a little late if they're not here. They've been sitting like this for over a month, so all the orders are marked as complete already. But uh, we will see if everything's here and if we're actually able to create three more of these cars. So uh, let's start opening up some of these packages. Alrighty, so let's open up these packages here. This first one is from Toy Brick Brigade. Let's see what should be inside of this package. Alrighty, inside of here we should have 10 one by 2 Maersk blue tiles. And it looks like we do. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Perfect. 10 tiles there. Now, these were something I ordered a while ago. These are the Maersk tiles. Um, these are extremely expensive in that color, um, unfortunately. And then these are the pieces I already had in the previous, uh, or I have had in the other thing. Alright, this is from Bricksland. So let me mark this order... Well, I don't have a way to mark it now because it's already complete. Um, all right, this is Bricksland. This one should have... Ouch, this is a pricey order. Okay, this one has eight 1x8 one eight tiles as well as eight 1x1 one one Maersk blue bricks. And it looks like we have two, four, six, eight tiles there. And they all look to be in pretty good condition. And then we should have two, four, six, eight of these 1x1 one one Maersk blue bricks. And uh, we will organize all of this stuff... Um, before I actually build it. This one is from Ultimate Bricks. Let's see what should be inside of this one. Oh, we have eight of the chrome silver train rods. So these are uh, actually the things that hold the wheels together. So we got eight of these, it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those, perfect. And I already had some of those from a different train set, um, from the Lego City passenger train from a while. I like this uh, this sticker on here. It says, stay home, stay safe, play Legos. That's pretty cool, actually, during the whole COVID thing. This one is from Julie Butler. Let's see what store that is. That store is Howling Brick Ranch. So this should have six more of the um, uh, one, by one by one Maersk Blue bricks. Let me get a little knife to open this real quick. Alrighty, I got something to cut it with now at least. Uh, so we'll open this real quick and we'll see how this looks. And we have six more Maersk Blue Bricks. Let me take it out of this large bag here. No need for that. And we also have an invoice here. So we can stick those over there. Fantastic. I'll stick that to the side. Now let's see what our next order is here. This one is from Ace of Bricks. And in this one should be 14 more one by two plates with a groove, uh, or sorry, yeah, one by two uh, tiles, sorry, not plates, and uh, nine of these two by four Maersk blue plates. So in here we have 24 Maersk, uh, 14 of these, so, whoops, sorry about the camera shake there, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 14 of those one by two tiles, and then we should have nine of these, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those, fantastic and that should be all that is in that package that is it let's get to our next package here i'm going kind of in smallest to largest we got one more this one is from two beach bums um so this one so this is from the brick shop and this has okay six of the um 
or should have six of the wheel bases as well as six of the um, the big plates. So there's two, three of those and one more of those. And then we should have six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. And there should be two more wheel bases in here. There are fantastic. So we got the wheel bases now and no business cards or anything in there. Um, so looks like we're almost ready. And then now I think we're just missing the tires. So we have the actual rods, we have the wheel bases and we got a couple larger orders here. So let's see what these are. This first one here is from Hart Bricker. And this order over here, let's see what should be in this one. It's also kind of a pricey order. Okay, so this has 72 wheels. And I believe that is way too many for um, for what, we're, what I'm doing here. I believe uh, I ordered a ton extra because I am working on another train mock, which uh, if you guys have seen that video, like I mentioned earlier at the beginning, um, I kind of showed, this is a nice poly bag here. I kind of showed what, um, what I was doing there. So here we go. We have a priority mailbox inside of, um, a regular thing. Now keep in mind, this is not allowed. Um, so be careful if you do do this, because if the post office catches you, you will be fined for it. Um, as this is supposed to be used for priority mail only, but I'm not going to tell. Um, all righty. So in here we should have how many of these? 16 of these. Now, these are the, um, oh, they got the magnets. These are the, uh, kind of the bumpers or the, uh, what are these called? I can't remember what these are actually called on a train, but they're the bumper things. Um, and I got 16 of these. They are all in new condition or should be all in new condition. And, uh, that's again, because I'm working on another train mock, um, in addition to this Maersk train. So I don't actually need 16 of these. I believe I need six of these and then I'll have 10 more for uh, another train mock. So, let me uh, double check to make sure there are 16 here, and then I'm going to count real quick to make sure there are 72 of these, um, and then I'll be right back. Okay, we got all of those there. We got 16 and 72, and our last order here is from Ted and Fitz Brick. So we'll open this one up, and this one has... Oh, wow. Okay. So we got 24 of these, um, or we should have 24 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 24 of those one-by-one -one tiles, and then apparently I got 38 of these uh, train, um, uh, what are they? These things, the wheel bases. I got uh, 39 more of these. I guess this is for my new train mock as well. I didn't realize I purchased these. This is a pricey order as well. Um, but okay, these were about a dollar eleven each, um, which I think is a good price. That must be why I bought 39 of them. I probably bought everything they had there. Um, so now real quick what I'm gonna do, I shouldn't need these, so I'll sit those aside and I definitely will not need all of these for now. Um, let me sort these pieces real quick, and uh, I think I can do a little time lapse here as I sort these pieces, and then I will begin to build a few more of these uh, train cars, and like I said, I hope I have everything here that I need. Okay, so there we go. I think everything's here. It should be here. I could be a little bit wrong on that. Um, I overordered. Um, obviously, I knew I overordered a few of the things that were for the other train cars, like the bumpers or the little buffers, as well as the uh, the wheel bases and the wheels. But I also ordered, I guess, a dozen extra one by one Maersk blue tiles. Unless I looked at this wrong and I missed what was on there. And I also ordered two more uh, one by one um, bricks that I didn't actually need, but. That's okay, um, let's get started. Now, I'm not using the instructions because I don't have them with me here. Um, they're at home actually, but I'm just gonna go off the look of this train car here, which overall, this should be pretty simple. Um, let's see, how should I start? I guess I'll start with these down here. Now, I ordered these a while ago as well. Um, I was really debating this whole, you know, this whole process, whether or not I wanted to order the blue Maersk parts because they're super, super duper expensive. So. I really was not sure whether or not that was something I was willing to do. Apparently I was um, because I ended up spending a good amount of money. I'm actually not sure how much money I spent to get all these Maersk Blue pieces, um, but definitely too much money. Um, Maersk Blue, unfortunately, only comes in the Maersk train sets. And as far as I know, Lego's only produced, I, I think, three sets, maybe four. I could be wrong if it's if it's three but or, or four. But um, yeah, as far as I know, I'm not entirely sure how many they've produced, so... That'll be, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of curious. Maybe I'll put it on the screen how much I spent on this if I, uh, 
Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if I want to actually know how much I spent on all of this because I did purchase it over the course of, you know, a few months. I ordered these and I ordered some Maersk Blue parts. I spent probably $100 for some. And then like a month later or so, I had ordered, uh, I ordered some more because I was like, you know what? Instead of just making two train cars, why don't we just make the four um, cars that I wanted to? Um, or sorry, the three cars. Um, but I was close to just making um, two of them. And I thought my train might look a little weird with four cars. For not that it would look weird, really. Just I thought, you know, I might as well make the uh, make five cars. Just make it like a nicer, nicer number. Although four is my favorite number, so uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, what I really wanted to do was create a whole other engine as a dummy engine. Unfortunately, um, that is crazy pricey um, as well, just because of all those blue parts. I might as well almost just purchase a whole new Maersk train set, and then I would have had two more cars as well as some more shipping containers, as well as a whole new engine, and just not get the power functions to stick inside of it. Um, but I opted just to add some more train cars to it, and uh, hopefully hopefully it looks good. Um, we'll see, obviously, at the end of this. Now, I don't have any track with me here. What I would love to do, and what I think would be pretty cool, would be to uh, set up a train, like a Lego train track at some point. That's what I had as a kid. I had a train table in the garage on a, uh, what was it, a, uh, a pool table. Um, and that was pretty cool, actually. So that was fun, definitely. Ooh, that might be a piece that I'm missing. Um, okay, we found our first mistake so far. And I don't think I ordered these. These actually don't, don't, yeah, I don't feel like I ordered these, but these, the uh, one by two uh, wedge tiles that with the two thirds height, um, the one by two cheese slopes um, here. They should be going right here, and this helps reduce the uh, the movement on a um, on the train or the uh, shipping containers that sit on top of that. I don't think I purchased any of those, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna check through the orders real quick and just make sure it's not like they just didn't show up. But I don't remember looking for those on Bricklink at all. Yeah, so it turns out I didn't even order those. Those weren't even on my um, on my wanted list. So. That'll be something I have to get. I'll have to get what? One, two, I'll have to get six of those. Then these things will actually be done. We'll, we'll probably run into another problem here that we'll just figure out, but that's okay. That's, that's part of the experience, I think. And here we go. We're just popping in the last wheel here and we got six of these now. So we're ready to build those. And like I was kind of, or to build the rest of the bases, sorry. Um, like I was kind of saying, I was debating, these keep rolling away from me. I was debating about whether or not I wanted to do it in the Maersk blue. And that was definitely a, a financial decision that, uh, I don't know, when I'm done with this, we'll see if it was a good financial decision or not. Um, but when trying to decide that, I made a couple mock-ups of other potential train cars that I could have created. Um, and I'll put those mock-ups on the screen right now if I still have the renderings, which I should still have them on my computer, so you should see them. I did like a green one, I did like a dark blue, and I love the dark blue, I think that looks fantastic. I did a yellow, I did I did a few shades of green, a different, you know, some other different colors, I think red as well. Um, you'll see them all right now, obviously, but those are pretty cool, um, and, and I think those are really nice, and I almost did those instead of doing these Maersk blue ones, but I decided to go with the traditional Maersk blue, at least for this Maersk engine. Now I do have, an idea in mind for another engine that I'm working on. Um, and then uh, we will see if I create some of these in different colors with the other engine. But this is done now, I believe. Um, yeah, it looks done, except of course for these little uh, the little cheese slope uh, one by twos there. Other than that, I think it's done. Um, now for stickers for these, what my plan is here, so as you can see on this Maersk one, these stickers here are on the top right of those uh, of the side panels and they're on each side here. Um, so what my thought is I purchased some clear sticker paper so I can print out a logo and print out the text and try to make it look the best as possible. And I'll probably do that and that'll be my first try um, or my first uh, attempt at this. And then if that doesn't work, um, I will, not sure what I'll do necessarily, but I do like the Maersk sticker and the Maersk logo on the side of the thing, but the Maersk blue obviously looks fantastic. So I believe I have enough parts to finish uh, two more of these train cars. So I'm gonna do that real quick. We'll do a little time lapse and then uh, we will look at all these and I have a couple more of the white containers done 
Um, so we can stick those on and we can lay out the train together. So it's all in one thing and uh, we'll take a look and see how it looks. Alrighty, so here the train is all done. That is obviously the engine that came in the set. This is the first car that comes with the set. And then here we have the second car. And then over here we have the third car that we just created and a fourth car over here and a fifth car, which I don't actually have a container for. So I built these two extra containers and these are the equivalent of the refrigeration containers over here with the Maersk logo and stuff. Minus obviously the stickers on the side. So I will be printing out some stickers hopefully and uh, maybe you guys will see those in this video, hopefully. You know what? Yeah, let's uh, let's print out some stickers, and uh, we're going to get, in, you know, we'll see if that works. Hopefully that works. Let's add some stickers to the side of these cars and to the side of these containers. Boom. Stickers. Awesome. <laughs> uh, made some stickers in Photoshop real quick. Now, these are the ones that are going to go on the side of the car here, where it says Maersk on that uh, 1x8 light, or uh, not light blue, gray, the 1x8 Maersk blue tile there. Um, I didn't have time to make this logo because unfortunately I couldn't find a high enough resolution logo of this exact uh, star that's here. Um, I'm sure I could find one if I kept looking and stuff, or my plan is just to make one. Um, but fortunately I can make a low enough resolution one that's small enough to fit here, which should go well on the side here. So what I have to do now is I put this black border on here, which is a little larger than I intended, but I'll cut that border off and I'll use the X-Acto knife to cut out um, the size of these stickers and then we'll stick them on the side in it there. Now, as you see, there's some white in the star and some white that kind of surrounds the blue there. Unfortunately, um, I have an inkjet printer. So technically, if we look in one of those stars, it's not actually white. It's just kind of going through there right now. So I did cut out some really white, really thin, really small squares inside this SD card case here, um, pieces of paper. And I'll continue to exacto these down until they're about the right size to hopefully fill in the star with white. And we'll see if that looks good or bad. If it looks bad, I might get some custom printed stickers or I might just buy a sticker sheet on BrickLink depending how expensive that is because then I will at least have more of these stickers as well to put on some more containers. Um, but we'll see how that goes. So let me cut these out real quick and exacto them out and then we'll stick it on this first train car here and uh, we'll see how it looks. So here's number one and it actually doesn't look too bad. If you look really closely, one, I think I rubbed off a little bit of the logo. Um, the ink that wasn't maybe dry all the way. The sticker's not quite the same sticker, and I didn't cut it straight. Um, but if you're not looking at it really close up, um, you know, it doesn't look super terrible. When you do look close up, you can tell the sticker maybe isn't quite as thin or the right size as it should be. The Maersk obviously is uh, rubbed off, like I said. But when you put it, you know, if you put it right next to the other one, you'll notice a difference. Um, it's not as dark and stuff. But when you set it like this and you're just looking at it from afar, I don't even think it looks that bad. Um, it's, it's not exactly the same, but it's not terrible. Um, what I might do is I'll, I'll probably install the rest of these, um, you know, before or, or right now. But after that, if I find a sticker sheet, um, which might be easier just for these up here, I'll just replace them on this. I'll peel off that sticker, um, which shouldn't be too bad, but I don't hate it. Um, the paper actually works better. It's, it's less the paper that's bothering me, more the, uh, the actual sticker itself um, being slightly yellow, not perfectly clear and a little bit thicker, but uh, I'm gonna finish the rest of these up and uh, this isn't too bad actually. So the stickers are all applied now, kind of the homemade stickers, and the more and more I look at these, the more I start to hate them actually. So I looked on BrickLink and a sticker sheet's gonna cost around between 25 and $30. Um, so someone will be getting a sticker sheet purchase in the next few days here for this marriage train because I'm just not happy with the quality of these. They're fine if you step away from them a little bit. You know, they look, they kind of match that one over there. But uh, overall, I'm not super happy with them. So I think I have a few extra parts that I, I purchased a few too much for this. Um, so I might sell some of those blue ones, uh, the Maritick Blue, and see if we can get uh, any money back, um, maybe, to to buy or help to afford this sticker sheet. But uh, here is the cars, or here are the three cars we created. Uh, obviously, I didn't create those two uh, containers in this video. But here are the three cars we made uh, with uh, the stickers applied to them, the homemade stickers applied to them. Here is the entire train all done. So I think it looks significantly better. We would end normally right there. We would not have these cars. It'd just be those three right there. That's the whole train set. I like it personally with the additional three cars. I think it makes it feel much more realistic. And if we're to stick this inside of a Lego city or something, 
it's going to feel a little bit better in my opinion. And I, I think I'm happy with the decision to have gone with all of the blue to maintain that color through this whole set. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I would have liked to have another engine behind that one. Unfortunately, that would have been way too pricey. These additional cars were already quite expensive. Um, but here's the whole thing set up on some track. Unfortunately, I can't run it because I don't have batteries. Uh, it was quite disappointing, actually. I was going to put a little loop on this table here, but that didn't quite happen. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with this set. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know this was a fun one for me. Um, I do have some uh, one more purchase to make for a sticker sheet. Oh, and some of these... Uh, the little slopes that go here as well. I got to get six of those. I'll have to remember to do that as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys like this. If you did like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments or suggestions as to what else I could do with this train, maybe some more additions, some little things, go ahead and put them in the comments section below. And uh, if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We will see you in the next video.